Do you think the Resident Evil 9 leaks are worth your time or our small time? Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and we're going to be discussing new Resident Evil 9 leaks and what this means for the franchise. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show, and hide in this box from the regenerators heading to you. Resident Evil 9 held playtests in Japan last April and September, sparking new gameplay leaks and insights from the playtesters, alongside claims from Biohazard Declassified and Dust Golem. This time, Jill Valentine and Leon S. Kennedy, two of the series' most iconic characters, will lead the story, with Chris Redfield and Barry Burton returning as key support via radio communication. Jill is said to have a tactical look in inspired by the Resident Evil 5 DLC, which influences from Death Island and the Resident Evil 3 remake, while an older Leon is dressed similarly to his appearance in Resident Evil Damnation. The game's timeline unfolds four years after Resident Evil Village, which could place it in 2025 after Ethan's story, or in 2041 after the Shadows of Rose DLC. Jill's role with the BSAA and Leon's with the BSO set the stage, while while Blue Umbrella, Chris's current organization, will also make an appearance. The BSAA has even called for more agents hinting at the scale of the mission ahead. In Resident Evil 9, both Jill and Leon are dispatched to an island to investigate the corporation responsible for creating Evelyn, the main antagonist of Resident Evil 7, who was behind the terrifying molded enemies. This time, the central villain is Mr. Simon, who has been producing Evelyn clones using the Mega my seat. Rose Winters will also play a role in the story, as her blood is key to creating a vaccine for the island's inhabitants. According to playtests, both Jill and Leon are infected with the Megamycete, a new addition to their growing list of biohazardous infections. Jill, previously infected by the nemesis parasite in Resident Evil 3, and Leon, who encountered Las Plagas in Resident Evil 4, might be approaching complete immunity to these deadly viruses. However, if Capcom aims to explore the hallucinogenic direction for their storylines, the infections from the mutamycete might not be necessary. In the opening of the Resident Evil 3 remake, Jill experiences vivid hallucinations, likely rooted in her trauma from the Spencer Mansion. Leon, too, could suffer from similar episodes tied to his past in Raccoon City and his encounter with Las Plagas. These psychological scars alone could fuel a haunting descent without the need for further infections. It feels a bit strange that Jill would be working with the BSAA still, especially given Chris's fallout with them in Resident Evil Village. It makes me wonder about her reasoning for staying, knowing they're involved in bioweapon development. Nevertheless, Resident Evil 9 seems poised to conclude the Megamycete and Village storyline from the Winter Saga. Now, let's move on to the playtest details. In the April playtest, players experienced Jill's segment on the island, where she navigates an abandoned hospital with Leon in search of a cure for the mutamycete infection, plaguing the island's inhabitants. This segment leans heavily into horror, with the hospital described as a dark labyrinthian building, with hidden passages and eerie hallways, much like the Raccoon City Police Department, where doors required unique keys to access new areas. Jill faces mold-infected zombies with traits reminiscent of Ganados. They wield weapons like knives, axes, wood planks, and sights. Her inventory includes a shotgun, handgun, first aid spray, knife, craftable herbs, and ammo, preparing her for the island's hostile creatures. She's also pursued by a relentless stalker enemy called the Goatman, a terrifying creature who can only be temporarily downed and chases her on two legs while wielding an axe. Chris keeps her informed via radio about the infection's hallucinatory effects, the critical need to stop the bioweapon, and Rose Winter's role as the key to an antibody for the mutamycete. Barry, too, contacts her with advice on weapon upgrades, although the hospital itself is an unsettling place, with a red moon featuring an infinity symbol and ominous sounds that echo Jill's trauma from Wesker's actions in Resident Evil 5. These memories haunt her until she's overpowered by the goat man, falling unconscious after being infected. In the September playtest, Leon's mission takes place at night on a beach and 
found in a dense forest near Mr. Simon's laboratory, where he aims to stop the villain's attempt at child labor by producing Evelyn clones. Leon's inventory is familiar, consisting of a pistol, knife, machine gun, and first aid spray. As he explores the forest, players encounter eerie locations, including one haunted by a figure known as the Witch Lady, a mysterious woman who can transform into a swarm of flies and pursue him relentlessly. Like other iconic stalkers in the series, she can only be temporarily downed and frequently taunts Leon with seductive murmurs or terrifying screams. It seems Leon's women problems have come back to haunt him. <sighs> women. But you know, this could be a nice change for him in comparison to his experience with Mr. X. In addition to this, this witch lady with her sinister allure feels reminiscent of Lady Dimitrescu's daughters and could even be positioned as her successor. Leon also encounters Ganado-like creatures in the forest and he even compares the situation to Raccoon City. Oddly enough, since Ganados weren't from Raccoon City, armed with axes, they aggressively engage him and as the main enemy is invincible, Leon must rely on stealth and evasion in the forest. I personally enjoy the mechanic of being able to shoot axes out of the air in Resident Evil 4, adding a satisfying edge to the combat. To add to our list of enemies, the witch lady doesn't hunt alone. She can conjure giant invincible dogs to chase Leon. Adding to the cult-like atmosphere, some enemies can be seen chanting below a looming moon towards the sea, invoking memories of the Los Illuminados cult from Resident Evil 4. They even bear the same moon tattoo. The playtest reportedly ends with Leon succumbing to the infection by the mutamycete, hinting at the virus's far-reaching threat. I'm well aware that the new information about Resident Evil 9, Resident Evil 0, or even a Code Veronica remake seems to surface constantly every time we're on the internet. But if these leaks are accurate, it looks like the Resident Evil franchise is heading in a fascinating direction direction. Judging by the playtest, details, and leaks, Resident Evil 9 will take us through diverse locations like an eerie island, an abandoned hospital, twisting caves similar to those in Resident Evil 4 and Village, deserted houses, shadowy forests, a decrepit factory reminiscent of Heisenberg's, and of course a laboratory. It wouldn't be a Resident Evil game without a lab because you got to let Capcom cook with the story. With so many heroes united in one game, I can't wait to see what crazy concoction you're whipping up, Walter White. Other theories regarding Resident Evil 9 have stated that the new game could be open world. From what I hear about this game overall, it seems like a promising entry to the series. Although I do question how the playtesters knew this much of the story, based on a small portion of the game they're playing. On a random note, if the playtesters catch the Plaga, Capcom, you know where to find me. Let me in. Let me in. I've heard a Sony State of Play or Showcase was being hyped up on PlayStation and that we could be seeing more of this game at the Game Awards as well. Overall, what are your thoughts on these leaks? And what do you want to see in Resident Evil 9 yourself? Comment your thoughts below. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more Resident Evil content, and let me know your thoughts below. And don't forget to hit that bell to keep getting videos like these because Lady Dimitrescu is temporary but the family is forever. Oh, who am I kidding? Step up. The entire bloodline of House Domitresk is done in by the likes of you. Uh Thank you for watching, and that's all. Hasta luego. Mm -hmm.